What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. The Insatiable franchise is a whole lot of roller coaster to uncover. From eating disorders and backlash to fat shaming, well, season three is about to get way crazier than ever before, with Patty coming after Regina's head after what she did to Bob. Here's a first look at the third installment of Insatiable. Debbie Ryan in the series got insanely numerous backlash from the first season alone. Watchers agreed that it basically promotes eating disorders and it may be harmful to audiences, especially people of bigger sizes or younger ages. Ages. But here we are, waiting for the return of Debbie as Patty in the Insatiable Season 3 to be released in November of this year. Way back in 2020, Netflix announced the discontinuation of the series despite receiving a lot of viewers from Netflix subscribers. It was reported that the numbers aren't what they were expecting, and it's just not clicking for Netflix. Alyssa Milano did take it to Twitter to confirm the cancellation of the show, saying, This is sadly true. We had the most fun creating the show. I want to thank the fans who gave us a shot and kept coming back for more. Seasons 1 and 2 are still streaming. P.S. Any thoughts on who Coralie's baby daddy? I guess we'll never know. As sad as it was at the time, this tweet definitely aged well with the new seasons coming up where we find out who Coralie's baby daddy really is. There could only ever be two bobs to choose from. This series was always deemed problematic from the first season to the point that the petition was signed by dozens of people, and I mean 230,000 people, to end the series. However, obviously it didn't work considering the second season has aired. People felt that the series would encourage eating disorders and the further objectification of women's bodies since the series was basically a runaway of Debbie Ryan getting naked for men. She did make a statement in her interview with Teen Vogue that the insatiable franchise is meant to empower women and to show people that they do not need to get skinnier to be worthy of respect. She also wants to emphasize the journey based bigger people have to go through. What makes this issue problematic is that the people who did get skinny because of trauma felt attacked, rightfully so. Debbie shares that season 3 would have explored deeper parts of her shadow self that she neglected in the past. She will be facing her traumas from the past to officially find her moral foundation and move on from what hurt her. After all, the starting point of all the murders was so Patty could get revenge on all who hurt her. The production creator, Lauren, mentioned this season 3 would have been much darker, more serious theme than the first season. Surprisingly so, but a renewed spin-off of Insatiable might take place to continue its storyline. It seems that the writers have not taken notes of anything the viewers said in season 1. The first season ended with Patty and Bob covering up the murder of Patty's ex, and we thought it might just be that already. They find new ways to achieve what they want from there on, but her murder identity apparently became her only personality in the show, that and her obsession with Bob. The Washington Square News reported the insatiable franchise to be a complete nightmare and insult to modern improvement in body acceptable. It had built literally no suspense for season 2, which explained its waning popularity. If, and more importantly, when the show is back on for the viewers, Debbie Ryan is expected to be back along with the rest of the main crew. With Arden as Regina, Christopher as Bob, Dallas as Bob, Aaron as Magnolia, and Sarah as Angie alongside the rest of the crew we used to love. Though the expected plot will be a lot more stressful than one might expect. As Patty explores her life in season 3, she tries to finally find her moral compass in life, but it does get bloody. She did in fact promise to kill Regina after she humiliated Bob by naming him the pageant killer that night. Many have agreed that Patty has been an unredeemable protagonist considering she is slowly becoming a serial killer, murdering more than five people after losing weight for them to smash the like button. But antics aside, as per the series title, she has indeed become insatiable after tasting her first kill. She is out for blood. She doesn't care what it takes to have it. To be fair, she did blatantly tell her coach that nothing feels as good as killing. That line just did basically sum up the entire plot of season 3. A darker, more murderous version of season 1 and 2, which does come as a surprise for many after all that happened in the show. If the series didn't come to an end, Patty would have killed the real killer of the story, and it's none other than Regina herself. Regina had always hated Bob after he took everything away from her and pitting the murders of Stella 
Rose, a woman of influence, was just a step closer to achieving her goals. Now, Patty did come clean about all the murders in her serial killer lifestyle at the end of the movie, but does this ever change anything now? What do you think? Reviews suggest the series was just a nonsensical murder show with no real plot. With Roxy dead? Most interestingly, the series will be released by the time of Halloween 2023, and as it seems like it, Bob Armstrong can finally use his law degree and previous civil law experience to get himself out of jail. The series will have just 10 episodes, all an hour long. Although, I'll give you the heads up myself that Netflix hasn't officially approved nor stated that Insatiable Season 3 is back on. However, Debbie Ryan did express her thoughts about wanting to come back. This is also considering that Insatiable was her next big break after Jesse ended back in 2015. After one of her closest peers, Cameron Boyce, died in 2019, it was no secret that she had to take a while to heal and accept her loss. Some might even say that she has been distracted while filming for the second season. But years after his death, she wants to come back stronger than ever in the third season to prove herself to the crowd, and most importantly to Netflix. After all, the reason why the series ended was just that the number of viewers went significantly down. Many of the fans or viewers rather seem to agree that the show has lost its main plot in season 1. From a bullied, insecure, and plus-size teenager that got skinny, it became a murder show. With its harmful themes for viewers, most agreed to probably give it a chance if it steered back to the plot that actually focused on showing the life of a bullied teenager. Instead of fighting those stereotypes of having to go skinny and to be respected, it backfired and completely lost its point. I think it went on borderline Riverdale, as it seems the future might not be as bright for Debbie Ryan as she thinks since she is not in any more series or movies. In the series, however, her future could not be any brighter with all that she has been up to. She's been so busy and will continue to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Oh, I mean she'll continue to be quite the busy gal in the upcoming season, climbing her way to the highest pageantry position imaginable and maybe even getting Bob to actually love her the way she wants him to. Hopefully, she does does reach her dreams in life without murdering anyone in season 3, but I highly doubt that, don't at me. From all that, you could probably tell where the series is heading and ending. More murderers and sacrifices for Bob from Patty, with both focuses slightly shifted than before. Who knows what the other is capable of doing to save what they truly want. Let us know. We'll see you in the next video.